welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just wanted to sit down and share with you guys a few ideas of little things that you could do or make for your fashionable friend this Christmas. The majority of the things that you guys are gonna be seeing on this list are things that are fairly easy to make. They take maybe an hour or less. There are maybe like one or two that would take a little bit more time than that, but not too many things that would take you over a day. So these things should be very easy for you guys to make. I am going to link several video tutorials of what I can find here on YouTube of different content creators and the things that they've made that kind of match or fit like the vibe of the things I'm going to be talking about today. And as I said, nothing here is going to be too difficult of a project to make. So even if you are a beginner like myself, you should be able to do all of, if not the majority of the ideas that I have here on this list. So the very first thing that I had on my list is a scarf. Now, I know everybody probably thinks to do a scarf for someone for Christmas or even just like as a gift in general, I think it's probably one of the most easiest things that you could make. I think scarves are always a really good Christmas gift idea to give to people as long as you take the time to actually have them in mind when you're making or getting the scarf. You don't have to think so in the box like you can make someone a scarf out of granny squares and follow a certain color pattern that they like or it could be striped or it has some sort of like zigzag pattern or if you know that your friend is really into like the really skinny scarves make them a you know skinny scarf with a cool colored yarn or if they're really into like the super thick look you can make them a really big thick oversized scarf so I don't think your scarves have to be so simple and basic and boring like what we traditionally think. And I just know personally, like if someone took the extra effort to make a scarf in a color that I like or in a certain style that I like, I would be very grateful to get something like that, even though it's not the most like extravagant thing in the world. It doesn't have to be. You know, sometimes the things that are more simple and practical but have an interesting little twist on it are the best things that anyone could ever give you. So then the next thing I have on my list are hats. So in a similar fashion or manner as you could give someone a scarf, you could also get them a hat. But again, we're thinking about our fashionable friends here. So we got to think a little bit out of the box. So maybe instead of just doing a basic winter hat, maybe make them one of those like they look like winter hats. I'll have to go back and check what they're called, but they're like really short and they like don't cover the majority of your head. Like they don't go down to your ears and they kind of like have a, a chunkier ribbed edge. Like those could be kind of cool. Or don't even think within like the Christmas colder seasons, you can make them a bucket hat or you can make them a mesh hat. I personally really love those type of hats. I wear them all the time. I get tons of wear out of it and there's lots of different ways that you could decorate them shameless plug i also have a tutorial up on how you can make this hat so if that's something that you're interested in you can check that out but i do think that hats themselves could be some really cool gift ideas and they don't have to be the most basic boring thing ever a simple color change pattern or design could really take a basic hat that like low-key nobody kind of wants for christmas and make it something super cool and personalized and unique the next thing on my list is something that I really love and it's so simple and doesn't take that much time to make. And those are little crocheted scrunchies. I've been seeing a lot of the scrunchies that are like, what's the word? <laughs> they're just, um, they've got like a ruffle effect to them and I think that looks really cool. There's so many different color combinations that you can do when making those. And I think they're so much fun. They're absolutely adorable. And I personally would love to receive those from anybody. Um, and, and anybody in my family want to make me some crochet scrunchies, I will definitely take them. Thank you. I think scrunchies are a really cute idea. Again, also something that's very easy to personalize. I've also come across scrunchies where they're not the ruffled effect, but you like actually crochet like a long strip and then you just wrap it around the scrunchie itself. So you get a different look. They don't all have to give off that ruffled kind of vibe, but I do think those are really cute. Next up, we have chokers. The cool thing about chokers is that one, it truly is such an easy project, it does not take up much time to do at all. But on the other side, they're a very easy project to personalize. If your friend is really into flowers, you can make them a flower choker. Or if they're into something a little bit more simple or classy, you know, make like a simple little like band and then put 
maybe like a singular bead or something like that on the end of it. Because chokers are such a simple project and they don't take up much time, you could make several. So if you know your friend likes a certain color scheme, make them a few in those colors. There's just so many different ways you could go about it that you can really cater to that person's individual style. Next up, I have collars. I've come across a few collar designs that I've really been liking lately. You know, there are some that are a more basic, like granny stitch, and then others are a little bit more complex, but I do think that they can be really fun. You can make the collars really small and cute and dainty, or you can make them really big and oversized. I think that's one of the cool things about all the different items that I have here on my list is that they can be as soft and dainty and like feminine as you want or they could fall on the other end of the spectrum and be the most like cool big obnoxious like oversized thing in the world there are a lot of collars that i've been seeing that i've liked that are not crocheted or even knit at that but i think you could use them as a good starting point of like inspiration on maybe a color pattern or combination of different styles like a peter pan collar with a really oversized ruffle hem you know things like that or you could have a really boxy collar and then put a little like lettuce leaf hem along the bottom of it like there are so many different ways that you could go about doing it that i think could be really cool and really fun and i think it'd be interesting to give somebody a collar because i don't really know too many people who are like making crochet collars for people for christmas so it would be a really nice way to like switch things up on people a little bit without making it like too impractical because you know it's still a collar like you can wear with a lot of different things so next up on my list i think this works absolutely perfectly if you have no time on your hands <laughs> you can make your friends some little crocheted hair bows you can make them again very big and over the top and fun and interesting with a bunch of different patterns or if you're really low on time you can make them a bunch of chains that they can just tie into bows um but just you know make sure you take the time to like use cool yarn so it doesn't look like okay you really put no effort into my gift um yeah because we don't we don't want to give them the impression that we don't like them i do think that your little hair bows and ribbons look really cool and cute in like a mohair yarn or using like a glittery kind of a glittery yarn or like those yarns that have a lot of like fluff to them i think things like that could be really interesting and depending on how you make it they could use it like just as a hair bow or a clip or use it as a hair tie as well like there are a lot of different ways that you can go about it it doesn't have to be so basic which i really appreciate next up i have bags there are a plethora of bags that you can make someone they could be mesh market bags it could be a small little hand bag you can make them a bag in the shape of something so if they really like stars then make them a bag in the shape of a star or you could do it in a heart or you can make them a really big like duffel bag if you've got that kind of time on your hands no matter what style your friend has you can make a bag for them the next two things that i have on my list are things that are perfect for a friend who lives in a colder climate so first up we have ear warmers you could make your friend a really cool or cute or funky pair of ear warmers i've seen some lately where they're like little stars or heart shapes which i think are really cute or you could just do like a traditional ear warmer like band but again you can make it in their favorite color or a set of colors or it doesn't even have to be that complicated you could do one where it's just a bunch of single crochets like in a row but make each row a different color so it's like multicolored and really cool and maybe even like mix up the yarn that you use a little bit so it's got some texture to it or you could do like a simple band in a particular color that they like and then you can go in and put like some little interesting embellishments and things on it like it doesn't have to be the most complicated project in the world but if they're in a colder weather it would definitely be something that they wear or at least i would hope that they would wear and it's really cute so why not then after that you could also make them a pair of matching leg warmers i was trying to look up some different ways to make leg warmers because you know there are like the basic types but i saw a pair of leg warmers that were really big and just like chunky and thick and they looked like they were rather long as well too and i was just like oh my gosh like i wish somebody would make this for me now i don't have anyone in my life to make it for me so i'll have to make it for myself but you can be the person to make that for your friend. 
I think this is a really good gift idea if you have a friend who like ice skates or they're into winter sports and things of that sort. You can make it a set. So you can make them a hat and some leg warmers or a hat and arm warmers. Or you could do an ear warmer and leg warmer little matching set. I think that would be really, really cute. Last thing I have on my list of things you can make for your friend are boleros or sweaters. And I put these two in the same category because I feel like if you make a bolero, like you basically made like half of the sweater. So you could just keep going and just make the rest of the body part of the sweater. But I do think that these could be a really cool idea. There are a lot of really cool stitch patterns that I've seen people make boleros in lately that I really like and I would like to experiment with myself. Or here we go again with the combinations. You can make your friend a bolero and then also make them a pair of matching leg warmers and ear warmers. Why not? Just do, do the whole things, just the whole big set. My very last one is a bonus gift idea, but this is solely for the experts. I don't even think I personally could handle a project like this, but for those of you who are very advanced in your crocheting skills, you could make a personalized Amagurumi, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but one of these things. You can make one of these thingies for your friend. I just had this thought that it would be really cute for someone to make one of those like little dolls of you and like actually make it look like you and like put little, make little you know, clothes and stuff on it. I thought that could be a really cute idea, but again, that's something you have to save for the pros. What better gift than giving someone themselves? you know? <laughs> and I think it would totally throw someone off. Like nobody's expecting to receive themselves for Christmas. So those are all of the gift ideas that I thought of. Please let me know if there's anything else that you feel like should have been on this list. Even though some of the things that are on my list are very like basic and everybody thinks of doing that, I hope it put a unique or like different twist or just put you in a different mindset on how you could go about it where it doesn't have to be, you know, just something that's been done before. If you just take an extra second to think about it, you could put a really interesting and unique twist on some of the classics, we'll call it that. But that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good inspiration from it. And I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye guys.